Yeah, uh, good morning from my side as well, and welcome um, to the symposium we're having today uh, with Saldru. Um, I'll just quickly introduce um, our foundation, as it's a political foundation, and it's kind of hard to explain what a, a political foundation is and what it does. It's uh, quite a unique construct you find here in, um, uh, only in, in Germany. But uh, first, I would like to thank um, Professor Wilson as well from, uh, from FES side for the hospitality at uh, the institute you gave us in, uh, in the early 90s and um, yeah, for the, for the long-standing support. I'll come back to this in a short while. Um, yeah, I'll make it quick actually uh, to not um, um, too much feed into your time for the, for the discussions. Uh, to make it short, um, we are a political foundation based on the values of social democracy. So it's um, freedom, it's, inequal uh, it's equality, not inequality, and it's solidarity. Um, in, uh, in Germany, you have six uh, different political foundations. Um, everything, uh, everyone aligned to the main political movements or to the main political parties. So you have us, the Friedrich Ebert Stiftung, the Social Democrats the Konrad Arnauer Stiftung, which are the conservatives, the Friedrich Naumann Stiftung, the liberals, or the neoliberals, actually, the Heinrich Böll Stiftung, uh, which is um, for the Greens, Hans Seidel Stiftung, which is um, the, uh, the, Bavarian, uh, uh, the Bavarian conservatives in, uh, in Germany, which are a bit, it's a bit special. <laughs> they are a bit special. And the Rosa Luxemburg Stiftung, which is uh, the socialists. So every one of these political foundations is uh, uh, linked to one party. So for us, it's of course uh, the SPD, then the CDU um, for the Konrad Adenauer Stiftung, Naumann Stiftung, it will be the um, FDP, the Liberals, uh, the Greens for the Böll Stiftung, Hans Seidel Stiftung, the CSU, so Bavarian Conservatives, and the Linke for the Rosa Luxemburg Stiftung. The reason why we have these, uh, these political foundations is that after World War II, um, um, you, uh, we had to build up a new democracy. And so um, the thinking was that you need political education. But you can't do political education only on a technical basis. Like this is how parliament works. This is um, how the party system works. But um, every political education is based on values. So you can't split it apart. <coughs> So the um, uh, main, um, uh, so the, the state decided to finance these uh, foundations to do political education in Germany. Afterwards, um, we split, uh, we, uh, we started to do work in, um, in foreign countries as well, so all around the world, but this was the, the basic thinking. So our name, Friedrich Ebert, um, comes from the person Friedrich Ebert, of course, who was, um, the head of the Social Democrat Party in the early 20th century, and um, the first president, uh, the first uh, democratically elected president in German history. So he was a trade union member. This is where our roots lie in the labor movement. Actually, a settler who then um, started to to um, uh, commit his life to social democracy. And after the First World War, and the emperor was chased away, and uh, this. Um, aristocrat uh, system started to fade away. He was, um, uh, he became the first um, uh, president in Germany. Besides of Germany, we now have um, over 100 offices around the world, um, which are working, um, uh, which focus um, on different topics. But if you want to see some main topics which um, on which every office is working, it's of course the strengthening of uh, trade unions. So to strengthen them, uh, the s to strengthen the labor side um, in face of the, the growing capital side, kind of a ongoing battle. Oh, wait, this is. We try to facilitate international dialogue, um, uh, try to support the, the fight against inequality and of course, uh, support democratization, um, as um, as is the lesson from uh, from uh, our German history. Uh, democracy needs uh, Democrats to uh, to survive, uh, which wasn't the case in the 20s, which is why the Nazi regime um, could take over the the power in Germany. And so, to prevent this, we uh, we offer um, democratic education around the world. 
So coming closer to South Africa, we um, in Sub-Saharan Africa, we have um, around 20 offices. The newest um, in Rwanda and one in Congo Kinshasa, um, plus four regional work lines. So we have in, um, in Senegal, we have an office on peace and security. Um, uh, in South Africa, in Joburg, actually next to our office, there's uh, the Trade Union Competence Center led by my uh, colleague Bastian Schulz. Um, in Namibia, we are working on media, and in Ethiopia, we have the a uh, AU liaison office. <laughs> Those working lines, they are not um, working only in one, uh, in one uh, country, but they are working all around the continent and try to, um, to enhance the work we are doing on these topics. So, in South Africa, as um, uh, Professor Leibrand already told you, we started here in Cape Town and enjoyed the hospitality um, from Cyrus' side. So thank you <laughs> for this. Before we moved to, uh, to, to Joburg uh, in 1993, we started to work with, uh, uh, with South, uh, South Africa already in the 70s and 80s. So we supported the ANC while it was in exile. And um, then as uh, soon as apartheid started to, to fall, we came here to this uh, country to be closer to these uh, relations and to this um, uh, important African country. Um, nowadays, we have four main uh, working areas. So the first is um, um, that we want to support further democratization and um, to, uh, to make a contribution that it, um, that it stabilizes here. So um, we are working with the different partners. We're having um, autumn schools for uh, young leaders. Um, we um, uh, support um, uh, civil society organizations uh, which are into accountability, for example. Um, the second one is, of course, social inequality. I think this is where our, um, our symposium today comes in, that uh, um, we are trying to uh, raise ab uh, awareness. We are um, uh, supporting partners in, uh, in their day-to-day -day work. Um, to, yeah, to, um, to get a discussion started here in uh, South Africa or to um, um, uh, continue it, how inequality can be diminished here in the short term or in the long term. The third one is uh, the just transition, uh, which is uh, um, work on energy, uh, in, uh, energy democracy, on low carbon economy, and um, uh, Right. Yes, <laughs> energy, democracy, uh, low carbon economy, and of course, uh, climate change. And the last working area is um, uh, that we um, w uh, we are into international relations, in, uh, especially into uh, South Africa's uh, international relations, and we're working with partners on the role of South Africa in G20 and uh, in BRICS. So, the last uh, the last thing before I hand over is uh, I want to present you one, um, one project of ours, actually our flagship project here in South Africa, um, the Forte Autumn School. The Forte Autumn School is um, the, um, uh, is the autumn school in, uh, in the Eastern Cape. Um, we take in every year 20, uh, 20 students, which um, are taught, uh, are taught uh, knowledge and skills to take over responsibility as uh, leaders of uh, civil society or um, to, uh, to participate in the, um, in the political process. This is already the seventh year uh, this year that it's running. This is uh, the actual, um, um, these are the uh, students which take part in this uh, at, the, uh, at this very moment. And um, the thinking behind the uh, autumn school was to uh, not to do it in Gauteng or do it in the Western Cape, but to do it in uh, the Eastern Cape as one of the poorest uh, provinces to offer there something, to uh, spread, um, uh, to, to spread um, the uh, thinking of social democracy and to spread knowledge about uh, how you can influence political processes. Actually, this was um, invented by uh, uh, Professor Wilson together with um, the then director, uh, Axel Schmidt. Um, and it's, uh, yeah, it's running very smoothly, and we are very thankful to you, uh, Professor Wilson, that you supported us in the last years and that you gave us guidance.
and I hope that uh, this uh, this support will uh, continue for for a bit longer. And uh, so, thank you from our side. So, there's the proof that he is participating in this <laughs> as well. <laughs> All right. Okay. Then, thank you uh, for your attention.